Our thoughts were looking at the reality of forgiveness. One writer says it is not that we need more power, but that we need more brokenness. When we are properly broken, you will find the indwelling Christ is more sufficient, more than sufficient. Are you broken for your sin today? Psalm 51 Psalm 51, 17 Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words before Sorry, Psalm 51, 17 The sacrifice of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God Thou wilt not despise Like I said, someone might say, Jay, I am so bad, I've sinned so badly. There's no forgiveness of me. I met a minister the other day who'd fallen into sin. And he, he, he wanted to go to back to church after a few years of being away from church. And he came running up to me today, the other day, and said he'd gone back to church. But he, he found it so hard to go back because he felt he couldn't forgive himself. And the congregation wouldn't forgive him. But God will forgive you. Psalm 51 verse 7. Pure, uh, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. God wants to wash you and make you clean today. Verse 9. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Verse 14, deliver me from blood guiltless, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. You might say, Jay, look, I've sinned really badly. Or you might say, Jay, I keep sinning all the time. Is there any hope for me? Yes. Yes. Of course there is. Oh, there's hope. Come to Jesus. There's hope. You forgive. He said, well, Jay, I keep sinning all the time. Come. Ask him to forgive you. He'll help you. He understands. Come. Hebrews 9, verse 22. Hebrews 9, 22. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without the shedding of blood is no remission. The blood was shed on the cross, and as he died on that cross, he was being punished for your sin, and there you can come for forgiveness at the foot of the cross. Revelation chapter 1, 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood he washed us in our sins in his own blood and 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 19 1 Peter 1 19 But with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. Christ's blood is precious and it was shed preciously for you on that cross. Count Zizendorf says, Our method of proclaiming salvation is this, to point out to every heart the loving lamb who died for us and although he was the Son of God, offered himself for our sins by the preaching of his blood and of his love unto death, even the death of the cross. Christ shed his blood, his divine blood for you. Whatever sin you have today, whatever sin you carry today, come and lay it at his feet and say, Lord, forgive me. We could go on. God will give you a clean heart in Psalm 51 verse 10. He will make you anew in Ezekiel 36:25, And even the worst of sinners can be forgiven. In Acts chapter 9, 21, 22, Paul the murderer gets saved. And in Deuteronomy 33, 19, you'll know abundant life and blessing. So 
So let's just finish with Psalm 51.13 Psalm 51.13 Will I eat the flesh of bulls? Psalm 51, sorry, 13 Then will I teach transgressors the ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee when God has forgiven you, then go and tell others about Jesus. Alright? Don't be discouraged. You know, if you're breaking your heart today because you've really failed God, come to Him and say, Lord, I've really, really messed up. Or if you keep sinning all the time, come to Him and say, Lord, I, I keep failing you. And bring your problem to Him and He'll help you. It's not easy. But he'll be with you and he'll help you and he's patient. So lift up your head and be encouraged. And don't be discouraged. God loves you. He has a plan. And you might have gone through the darkest time in your life. But God will be with you and he will help you. And he will comfort you and he will take you through the darkest time of your life. He will still take you and help you. And he's probably been there. Well, he has been there. But you've not seen that he's been in your life. Even in the dark times. He loves you so much. And he wants you to just trust in him. And he wants you to just rest in him. He knows the way. He knows what he's doing. But any sin in your life, it's time to come and deal with God. And allow God to deal with you. And be real with Him. And bring your failures to Him. And He will come. And He is the Comforter. The Holy Spirit is the Comforter. And He knows and He puts it in your heart to cry, Abba Father. And you will come. And you will know peace. And God is with you. I pray, Lord, be with the, be with the dear soul today who needs you. Lord, I pray that you would be with them and bless them and encourage them. May they know your forgiveness and may they know your love today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. May God bless you. I hope this has been a blessing to you. And have a lovely day. God bless.